Why Egyptian men marry older foreign women? That's a very, very huge topic and maybe the biggest question. Uh, surprisingly, this week especially, just in this week, I get like a lot of women who was writing me for help and they were older about 20, 30 years than the Egyptian men. So I decided I have to make this video because you need to hear this. Let's jump to it. So I will start actually with some facts. So the one of the basic facts is we have increasing number of young Egyptian men who marry older foreign women about 20 and 30 years to escape poverty and search for a better life somewhere else. This is a very first fact. The second fact is such a type of marriage are mainly found in the touristic areas and Upper Egypt and the Red Sea. Because in such a touristic areas the poor boys or guys are working or riding a horse or sailing a boat and can be even a tourist guide so they actually have the chance to fool the women and search for a better life then i found a very uh, amazing fact that in the year 2010 egypt has around 17,000 such cases can you imagine 2010 what it will be now. Well, now the big question is why? We can have even uh, emotional reasons, which are actually very rare, but still exist and I would like you to tell it. So the emotional reasons is that the boy didn't receive in his childhood enough love from his mom or his dad, his parents simply. And uh, by marrying older women, he's kind of searching still for the mother's love. It's a really extremely rare, but it exists. Also, can be because the older women are less demanding than the young women, meaning they don't wanna so much stuff. Oppositely, they will help or support a man. And especially if comparing Egyptian and foreigner, so for sure foreigner women are more open-minded, more easygoing. So the life is simply kind of easier. That can be the emotional reasons. And now let's go to my kind of favorite part, the materialistic reasons. So one of the most common reasons, of course, why they do it is for money. Believe it or not, but in Egypt we have many, many poor people, poor families, and they will try anything to simply escape this poor life and gain some better life. So one of the easiest and quickest things is to find simply rich foreign woman, marry her and she will support him with the money, of course, and then he will back support his family with the money. So it's going to be like in circle. And this is a really the most common reason. Maybe you, will, you are telling me now that you are not rich, so this is a nonsense. But you have to think about it a little bit different way. Okay, that simply you are living outside of Egypt in a foreign country and if you compare the salaries in your country and Egypt it's a huge difference. Let me tell you that for such a poor people can be even 1000 Egyptian pound monthly food or monthly money for everything. So if you bring him even 5000 Egyptian pound he will already see it like something very big wealth and you know, he will try his best to get it from you. Well, actually, to tell you if he is marrying you is something good. It can even happen, which I had such a case before, that Egyptian young man uh, steal money from some older woman and he didn't even marry her. But uh, that's what I want to tell you all the time. If Egyptian man, even if it's like a friend, let's say, consider, not even a husband yet, but if he asks you for money, they can trick you very well. They have a thousand of stories. They can tell you that uh, they are sick, someone of the family is sick. They can really play on the feeling so much. Or they can tell they want to start a business, whatever, simply. They'll try their best to take the money from you. So that's why I was telling you, never send money to Egyptian men. And moreover, even if you are married to him, uh, let me tell you one secret which is from Islam basically but if you as a woman is earning money so the money is yours and your husband has no right to ask you about it 
Well, there's a big difference between Islam and Egypt, like always, because Egyptian man is telling that they have the right to ask, and sometimes they say that the money of the woman it's their money, in fact, which is in Islam absolutely wrong. So that's why I always tell you to have to pay attention that the man you are marrying is educated, because this is about education. If he is well educated, he will never do this with you. Okay, let's go to the second reason. To get out of Egypt, of his country, to go somewhere else and to live a better life. Well, Egyptians have such an idea that, especially it's Europe and America, uh, that those two continents are as a paradise. That if you go there, so you don't have to work and you will have your money for free and everything is easy and you have the rich life and beautiful women and so and so on. Well, we who are coming from Europe, we know that it's not true. That yes, in Europe are bigger money, but you have to work for it very, very hard. And you earn a lot, but you even spend a lot on your lifestyle, right? So at this point they really don't understand. But um, I have to say like we have to forgive them for this because uh, we as Europeans, we travel a lot. We are gaining experience, but Egyptians, they are not traveling anywhere basically, or they are not allowed. This is really true, you ask it many times, if Egyptian really cannot travel from the country as they say. Yes, it's really very true. Um, it's mostly with the government and army. It's a whole complicated situation to be on another video, but they really can. So from where they learn. Basically, when I came here for the first time, I can tell you, uh, it was kind of funny for me because some people was telling me, for example, an Arabic is speaking all over the world. Like everyone has to understand it, and all the world has the Egyptian tradition. So it's just it's just the example that you understand how they actually think. And it's really a matter of the class. Uh, as I told you, in Egypt we have a class, low class, middle class and rich class, let's say. So of course, if you meet the rich class, so those people, be they are traveling, they are open-minded, they know everything. But in the touristic destination, you will mainly meet the low class, the very poor people, which have no experience and no money, <laughs> no life, basically. Which is too sad, yes, very sad actually found it a lot because we are open-minded people so we are saying like money doesn't matter right and if he's poor so because I love him I will help him and this is absolutely wrong please really don't do it even you love him I always say that love is very nice it's amazing but love must be connected with the mind if the mind is not included it will put you to a trouble and believe me to get trouble in Egypt is not really nice it can really destroy you so anyway, I'm not surprised why uh, those poor guys are trying their best to get out of Egypt and live possibly a better life. So this is the second most common reason why he will marry the older women. Then I actually had a case when the woman was telling me, but I already met the guy in Europe, so possibly he doesn't want me for money, neither uh, use me for as a ticket to go out from Egypt. But then it can be that he want to marry you to stay in the country. Let's say he somehow gets to Europe, gets to your country, but he doesn't have the right papers and um, or permission to stay, right? So when he marry you with the marriage, he will gain this permission. And it's very easy for him. However, it's connected to one big thing which you really have to think about. He will marry you for some time, he will fool you, he will make you feel the love and everything but after some time what i saw really 90 percent of egyptians do it really they will find another woman and sometimes it doesn't have to be even a wife sometimes it's even a mistress but sometimes it's going even to polygamy after so all you have to really think about this even if you are going to such a relationship that maybe one day this can happen and the second biggest thing is about a kid because if it is so big age differences, so maybe you cannot have a kid anymore. And uh, Egyptian love kids in common, so maybe one day he will change his desire, it can even change, and he will want to have kids. And what after? Will you accept polygamy or not? Then I had a cases actually when once they got what they want from the woman, even if it was money, even if it was visa, 
So simply they divorce her or they escape from her. I know that I'm telling you the scary story, but uh, let me tell you the truth. I never saw one successful couple. Even a lot of women try to convince me that they're really miracles of love and age is not a problem. I always say, look, I saw such a cases in Europe and it was really true love and I believed it personally. But here in Egypt, I didn't meet even one. Because when after I spoke with certain women, so as we dig deep and deep and more, we found out there's always something the man is gaining from the woman. Or that his feelings are not just about love. Okay, and we are going to the last point, which is the most sensitive, I believe. And it might sound very cruel, but I need you to know it. That if the man doesn't use you for money or for visa for residence whatever so he may use you even for his sexual desire meaning if you meet such a very poor guy in a touristic area so because he's poor maybe he can't find a bride to marry him yes it's really happening a lot here in egypt it's simply kind of traditional if some man want to marry a woman he must bring her a flat and gold and so many things I will feel already spoke about it, if not, so tell me, I will make another video. Because it is actually very, very interesting how the Egyptian tradition work, it's not like us at all. However, if such a man doesn't have money and doesn't have a proper job, doesn't have a stability, so no woman here will accept him. Or it must be extremely exceptional, like for example, the woman is orphan to accept such a condition or something like this. That's even why such a type of men marrying older foreign women because they know that for us the money doesn't matter or the stability doesn't matter that um, we are searching just for love so for them they know it's easy to foolish us we fell in love with them and then simply they will marry you just for the sexual desire if I can say so because they will not find anyone else to marry them which is also very sad and i'm really sorry for saying it that hard but you know i want you to kind of wake up please if any older woman listening to this and in such relationship is and she's really older let's say with 20 30 years and more i would be critical now okay but i want to be honest with you please really finish and this relationship go out i'm sure that you can find egyptian men in your age and it can be even much bigger love. But with those type of poor and so young men, they will always marry you for something, never for love. And I told you before that Egyptians are masters of love, really masters of romance. They can fool you, they can manipulate you as they want, because they know that you are searching for the love which you are missing in your life, which is basically our common women problem we always search for love and feeling and emotions right and egyptian i told you they know our, our women mind very very well so please really be careful so as always if you have some question comment below i would like to hear and anyway thank you so much for all your messages which you uh, give me on Instagram. I'm really trying to respond to everyone, but I knew that still I didn't <laughs> respond all. Just before I told you, if you want to have the priority, you can always book a call with me on my website, denikabgirl.com, which is basically I provide one hour of a phone together when we can discuss your problem. It's gonna be even more than one hour. I'm open to this, no problem. It doesn't have specifically like 60 minutes, it just really depends on, on your case. And I will stay with you till we simply solve it together. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and bye.